Hey, how are you? It's Friday. Happy Friday. I've got so much stuff to show you and tell you about that I'm kind of rattled right now. Okay, I have some favorites. This is one of them. I've shown it to you like this is probably about the fourth time. I finally went in there and found the big one. Usually I have to get the small ones and they do not last. This is my favorite dry shampoo. Now, one of you told me to try the RN Co. And I ordered that from Amazon, not Amazon, uh, Nordstrom. And it's not as good as this. It might be, we're all different. So we're all gonna like different things. But obviously my hair is not dirty today. I just washed it last night. And believe it or not, it was smooth when I got through with it. But we have had nothing but humidity, rain, I'm blessed because it's sunny right now, but I think it's going to rain like around 12 or 1 today. So that has worked out well for getting our house done, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But so this is humidity hair. But if I want it to be big, oh, humidity hair, lift up and do that. Remember to wait 30 seconds. I have found that that helps. Also, the shampoo I've been using and loving lately is the Pureology Hydrate. If you like your hair to stay clean, use that and then do this. And I swear your hair will stay clean for so long. Like I really did not need to wash it last night. It's just I like to have fresh hair before a video. So now... Because a lot of times when my hair starts curling, it wants to flatten at the top and then boof out at the bottom. And so I like doing this because at least if I'm going to have frizzy hair, I want big frizzy hair. I don't want stuck to my head frizzy hair. I want big crazy hair. So that's what you will get if you use that combination. <laughs> know if you want this or not but I was going to tell you I've already ordered another one of these in case all of you order one and I can't get one this lotion now I've got I had ordered two of these which is the Paula's Choice Skin Smoothing Retinol Body Treatment I've got one up here and I have one downstairs and I have been using them and I will use them but many of you, including Dr. Dre, recommended this one. And I think I ordered this a long time ago. This one, and there's like one with hyaluronic acid. There's one with maybe um, glycolic in it. And I ended up giving them away before we moved. It is the Medics 5.5 Retinol Ferulic Acid Anti-Sagging Treatment. Number one clinically proven anti-wrinkle vitamin A targets crepey wrinkles and sun-damaged skin. Rapid skin transformer with black tea, aloe vera, and chamomile. pH 5.5. Amazing. Amazing. It's hard for me to tell you because you would have to feel it. The skin on my chest and on the tops of my legs feels totally different. Before, no matter what lotion I used or body oil, it would just sink in and go away. And then the next time I felt my legs, it would just feel um, rough. Just, it always felt just rough and it would not feel hydrated. After I've been using this and, and this, this is just so much less expensive. Just the texture of my skin is amazing. It feels so different. It feels like new skin. I did go in Ulta this week. And let me tell you about one more favorite. And then I think I'll be through with my favorites. This mascara is like, it's like a drug to me. The Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious. It is such a good mascara, but... If you are someone that does not like to have to remove your eye makeup, like if you're someone that just wants to jump in the shower and use a face soap or use just use a wipe 
I wouldn't get it because it stays on your lashes. I have to use either a makeup removing balm or like that new Clay de Peau one I just got or the Lancome Bifacil or the Neutrogena, Neutrogena, any of those. It has to be one that has the oil and the water. Oh my goodness, this is a good mascara. It just coats your lashes. I was just having trouble with now that I use the Revita Lash, my lashes are long and it seemed like none of the other mascaras would get all the way to the tips of my lashes. And then if I used a bunch on the ends, it would just get messy. So I've gone back to this. If I find that my lashes are breaking or there's any sparse areas, I will quit using it. But so far, so good and it is just so good. Okay, I just thought about this. I had someone ask me to please shut that door. And I've told most of you that have been here, the reason I can't shut that door is because the cats I've got, I just got Chanel. I think I've just got Chanel up here. But if I shut the door, it alarms the cats and they want to get in there. So I have to leave that open. And then I had someone to tell me to stop cutting off my head. And I'm just going to say this. This is not the prime spot for me to be doing my videos. I know that you can't see my shoes very well, all that stuff. But we are getting ready to move. We're getting ready to move. And I'm going to have such a good spot. It's going to be made for doing this. I did white walls, hardwood floors. And I am on purpose not going to hardly put anything in that front room. The other day I was telling John I'm going to try to even have people over. Like I already asked Morgan, my hair girl, and maybe I can do some videos with other people. And like get you guys to send in questions and stuff. Have great plans for our new home. It may take a while for me to get settled. But here we're just renting and I'm kind of having to make do. Let's go into Ulta. I went and got a small one of the Lanza Trauma Treatment because this is what Morgan uses when she does a blowout and I always have, I have a few pieces that broke off when we moved here. I think it's because of the hard water and sometimes they will, after she does a blowout, like when it's curly, they just kind of stick right in there. But when my hair is slick and straight, sometimes they will like separate. This is the perfect thing to do that because what I was using was the oil and the oil sometimes can just be too much like up around my head. So I have noticed when Morgan does this with the trauma treatment, it helps stick it together. Plus it's so good for your hair. So I went and got a small one of those for your hair. If you have any type of damage, to your hair this is just fabulous it's the hair treatment from Lanza and the last two things I got from Ulta are these they were right there in the front when I walked in and it's the new California Kissin color balm from Benefit and the, the first stand that I saw the only color I grabbed is this one which I believe is called nude rose yeah 50 nude rose and I'll be honest with you I haven't even worn it because I've been so into the other one reminds me of the Dior balms, color balms. Let's see, there's a lot more color than I thought there would be. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. You know what, I'll take this off in a minute and show it to you. So that is the Nude Rose. And then when I was checking out, they had some more up front and this one was there and it's called Pink Quartz. I did look at the peachy pink and it was too bright for me, but it was still pretty. So pink quartz is what I have on now, but I do have it on with my lip liner that I'm working on. So that probably made it darker, but I put this on when I got in the car and uh, it's hard to see it there. Hold on, let me get a napkin or a paper towel. Hold on, that lip liner is gonna stay just because it's that way. So I'm gonna show you what the pink looks like because it's pink. So that is the pink quartz and then before it gets settled and it doesn't sting or burn or anything like that. If anything, it has kind of a sweet minty type smell or yeah, smell. Okay. And this is the nude rose. That is beautiful. That is so pretty. So it's brightening, but it's not too bright. 
Yay, those are good, and they had many colors. If you want a darker color, they had lots of good dark, more like rosewood type colors and everything, but I just thought it was so pretty, and it feels good. It doesn't, it feels balmy and glossy. One of my subscribers sent me a post where Reef Flip Flops was doing a collaboration with OPI, and it wasn't every single color, but it was a lot of their good basics. And so I got tiramisu for two. And so that's what these are. I will say I'm somewhat, I, I should have known better. I mean, I'm gonna keep them. But I, I'm such a Javiana girl. And the reason I am is because I like, this is gonna sound funny. I like the heaviness and the texture of the Javiana. These are the ones that are almost like foam. Like I think, like this is hard, but, and I just find that I don't like flip-flops that are slick like this. And I think it's because I have like a texture, I'm extra sensitive to textures. So, but they're so pretty, I'm gonna keep them. And maybe once I wear them and they wear in a little bit more, I will really like them. But I just thought they were so pretty and I wanted to tell her thank you and show them to you guys. I've been wearing these a lot lately. Here are my grubby little Javianas, my white ones. But see how they have like a texture? I don't know what it is. I like that and they're heavy. They're like true, like old school rubbery flip-flops. Okay, so the next thing I was gonna show you is an order I placed with Laura Geller. I think what happened is when we were talking about mineral powders, like the Jane Iredell and the Laura Mercier, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that nothing Nothing, no mineral powder I have ever used has even been 80% of what Laura Mercier is. I don't know what was so special about that powder, but nothing gives the glow and the coverage and has the tone of the Laura Mercier powders. So if I tell you I like something, it just means I like it, but I'm not saying it's Laura Mercier by any stretch of the imagination. One of you asked me about the Laura Geller powder and I remembered liking it, and I think I have one in there, but it just so happened that I got an email and there was a special going on where if you spent X amount or bought X amount of products, you got this pretty big free gift. So what got my attention were these. Remember the one that Vanessa, the bombshell suite, was telling us about? I can't remember what that one's called. Seems like it's creme brulee and something else. It is one of the prettiest highlighters ever. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I want to try those. I really wanted to try this one. So it's the Baked Original Highlighter Duo in French Poodle and French Almond. And this is, I'm gonna tuck my hair behind my ear. This is what I have on today. And I probably focused, I used the brush. I used the rodeal brush that's in my kit. And by the way, I think today might be the last day of my rodeal the whole thing, the whole big kit that is like th almost $300 worth of products for $95 and it has that brush in it. And it's the last, I think it's either the last day or tomorrow's the last day. It was only like a 30 day thing. Um, and for the Lisa 15. So if you'd like to try any rodeal, today's the last day, I think. So I used that brush for everything today and I used that one. It is just gorgeous. I don't even know if swatching it gives it credit. See how it's, even the box, I've already thrown the boxes away. Even the box says, all glow, no sparkle. It is just beautiful, beautiful. And then this one, I believe came with this kit. This one is French Vanilla and French Kiss. I think French Vanilla might be in the other one. So this one is more of a pink. And the kit did come with a brush. Let's just throw caution to the wind and Let's go into this color. Okay, this brush is kind of stiff, so. But I just wanted you to see that it's not sparkly. It just gives like a glow. Oh, it's so pretty. Some of the best highlighters ever. This and Laura Mercier Matte Highlight 01. Those are my favorites. So in this kit, I got to pick a shade of Balance and Brighten, I picked Golden Medium. 
and so that's what I'm wearing today but I'm wearing it over my Estee Lauder double wear in shell beige just because that's my favorite but I've got this on over it lightly with that same rodeo brush then I used this which is the bronze baked bronze and brighton roman holiday I mean this is the only bronzer I have on and what do you think do you think it's enough I was so tempted to get something else and put it on. They're baked, so you might end up getting more of that dark vein in yours that would be darker, but that is what I have on. And then, I don't even think I put a blush on. I just used this, and then <laughs> it came with this. And this is the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. Prime, set, and refresh. Okay, beware. This sucker is i mean i was scared i was gonna have like dots on my skin it's a, a little too intense for me it is even more intense than the mac fix plus so this probably isn't my favorite i still prefer the morphe but it was still fun to try it and then it had this little baby gilded honey she's known for this highlight and so what I did just to show you is this is what I have on the inner part of my lids is this Gilded Honey. It looks like it's going to be cream, but it's not. It's a powder and it's pretty daggone intense. So this is not really my idea of a highlight. I think it would accent my texture and I don't think I would care for it as much. I like the other ones, but this is good for inner corner like I've got right there. And it's just, it's pretty. It's one of her best-selling products. Okay, and then it came with this brush, which is, this is like a giant, um, <laughs> it's like a giant one that you get in an eyeshadow. Can't remember what that's called. Then it came with this brush. I forgot about this. So this is a retractable kabuki brush. So I can't imagine, I would probably have to stamp it on because I can't imagine like really doing this in that powder because it's kind of uh, powdery but I mean this is all such a good deal and then it came with this lip gloss which is peach sorbet I haven't used it yet I just got this yesterday Ooh, that is beautiful oh I can't do it with this I forgot I didn't have that pink on and then the last thing she had a pretty pretty box too with her name all over it the last thing is this, and I didn't use this. This is a Pink Please Eye, Cheek, and Lip Palette. Rosy Posy Fuchsia Bright and Petal Pusher. But it is like cream products that you can use on your eyes, lips, eyes, lips, and cheeks. Just wanted to tell you about that in case you wanted to try some Laura Geller. That was just such a good deal. Okay, I debated on whether to even show these to you guys or not because I know you probably, no one is, I don't know, I can't say that. I think there are people out there that are as crazy about sunglasses as I am. So the ones I showed you, was it last week or a week before last? I ended up taking the Burberry ones back. I mean, I do like them and I feel like you would like them, maybe. But when I had them on, I just didn't feel, you know what I mean? I didn't feel glam or myself. I felt like they were, maybe that gunmetal was a little bit too, mm, I hate to say masculine, but masculine for me. So I took those back. And so I still got the 60% off of each additional pair. Of course, you know what happens when you do that. You take one pair back and you end up buying two more. And that's what happened. So I got these, which are the Gucci. Oh, I love the Gucci cases. I got to pick what color and I, you guys know I love chartreuse. So these are very, oh, they're so pretty. They're very similar to some that I have, but they're very, very, very classic. The big oversized square. They've got the Gucci like horse bit on the side and they come in the brown, which is what I have in my other ones. But this is the like smoke. And I just think that they are beautiful. Oh, and they're so comfortable. I, I love these glasses. So I bought these and I just think they're timeless and gorgeous and I love them. This pair is gonna be something you either love or you hate. But this was the kicker here. These are Versace and they came with a croaky. And because I got the white ones, I got the one with the white on it. And I thought these would be so 
cool for the pool then they're funky and you you guys if you've been here with me you know i have a thing for white sunglasses oh these are so over the top so these are white now if you like white sunglasses like this i will link my pair of carrera because they are like 70 some dollars and they are pretty fabulous too but these have the versace on the side oh my gosh you guys i mean just look at that they are over the top. I love them. And then they are the white aviator. So I just think, like with your hair up and your maybe even a hat on and your bikini, I just think they're fabulous. And then this is going to be attached to them. Fabulous. Wow. Let's get on to my Zara haul. And I bought, like I told you in my last video, I bought 10 dresses. And it wasn't even, it was like a couple hundred dollars because most of them, for one thing, Zara has good prices, but most of them were like just day dresses, little t-shirt dresses. Okay, and I have learned the hard way to not take off the tags until I watch the video back because sometimes when I see things and I look in the mirror, I think they look better than when I watch the video back. So I still have the tags on most of these. I probably can take it off of some of them because I've got duplicates in some dresses. But this first one, I'll be honest, I did not realize it was going to be so neon green. I thought it was going to be more of just a little bit more subdued. So let me know what you think. But this is the first one. And the bra, I know, is not the best. But I did, I like the way it's shaped. And with all of these, I'm just going to use my Zara clear heels that are still available. So I really do like this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it's too crazy and too bright. And then um, Chanel is having a field day over here with all of these dresses hanging. Okay, you guys saw the red one that I wore the other day. Love it. I have not even washed it because I didn't get anything on it. Notice how it is not, the butt's not stretched out. It's not stretched out of shape. So for $17, even if you got three wears out of it, and then you washed it. Usually my Zara stuff washes well. It's not like Forever 21, but it's worth that no matter what, is what I was gonna say. This one, you guys have seen me wear this style so many times. The last one I wore was the pink one, and I'll try to put a picture in here, but this is the one that I bought all the black ones of when I, you know, back last year and the year before, and I just would wear them almost every day. It's just a great, great, dress it's really good in black this one i'm gonna have to be feeling really good in because the lighter the color the more it shows but they're i think 19.99 right the neckline is so good you can still wear a full bra with it and the length is good okay then i got these two that are just like the red one and like i said 17.99 okay this one might be a little risque camera's going to loop it over my head. I probably am going to need to pull it tighter, but this, oh my gosh, this one's a little sassy. I've got to take a picture of Chanel over here. I see you. I see you. <laughs> She's playing in all these dresses. To me, when I see this type of neckline, I'm just drawn to it. It's, to me, it's so like Diana Ross or I don't know, I just think of that whole era of like stars and supermodels and everything. I love this. So, this would be for like when John and I are together. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't like bust up in the grocery store with this, but I would wear it to a party or something like that. And it is a thick, thick fabric. Very, very nice. And it goes straight across the back. Don't you hate these things? a great length so it's just sexy up here but to me because it's thicker and it's longer you can kind of get away with it okay this one i have to say that this one i as soon as i saw it i thought that is not going to fit it's going to look weird because it's kind of full oh my goodness let me just cut these off i was scared this was going to be too full at the bottom and i did not want to have to belt it but I think it's really cool. I love the nude color. I kind of 
love that it's like that. It gives it just a little bit of a different look. And I think it would look great with flip-flops. So, here, do you see, what does the back do? Oh, crisscrossy back. And it's like double ply. Again, it's like a really thick material. So isn't showing every little thing. Oh, this is a winner. I love this. Okay. This is a good one. I'm pretty sure this is what it's supposed to do. I've got a little bit too much boobs for it, but I will say this sucker is thin. It is very thin. I'm going to keep it because I love it, but I might even wear this over a bathing suit. I think this would be awesome. I don't know if I would say, here, let me put my shoes on. I don't know if I would say as a cover up, I mean, you could do it, but how cool would it be just to wear your bathing suit under this, like to a pool party or something? I think it would look really cool. And it's, the fabric is, it's kind of, can you see how sheer it is? It's kind of netty feeling. So I'm hoping you can't see through it. If you can't, I might have to cut it out but I love it. I love the color and I think I would do something creative and maybe put a bathing suit underneath it. Oh my goodness. I think this one's self-explanatory. I love it. I was worried about this one being too full too. I don't want to have to wear a belt if I don't have to, especially in the summertime. I love the color of this. I love the ruffles and this is another one I thought might be too full, but here, let me put my flip-flops on. Oh, perfect. And you guys, it is so much easier to throw this on than a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and tennis shoes. And it's just beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. This is the one I was looking forward to the most. Zips up the back. It's very, very thin. Okay, guys, let's see. I've got on the Skims thongs, but isn't that cool how it has like the little cutout and then I've got a regular bra on. So I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. So here it goes. Isn't it fabulous? So it's up to you whether you're brave enough to wear, you know, something with the holes on the side, but I just think it is so it's mostly the colors and the pattern. Look at the, I guess it's probably like a hibiscus. That's what I was thinking, but just the colors together. Okay, you guys, I am out of breath from trying all of those on. I thought about just showing them to you, but I wanted to try them on for you because when you see something at Zara, you have to get it because they are moving, moving, moving. So for accessories today, I have on these Jenny Bird earrings. I love these. They're just so cool to me. A uh, ring that my parents gave me. The nail polish is the Chanel base coat and the Chanel ballerina polish. My Chanel watch, no necklace or anything. So many plans for us, especially in our new house. We did get a new date. It's supposed to be done by the end of June. Our original date was the 15th. So the end of June is pretty, pretty good with me. I'm so thankful for all of you. And I'm so thankful I decided to share every moment with you if you don't follow me on instagram i have a highlight section where you can see all along you know all the progress and it's just you guys you are the only ones that have seen it besides my parents you are my friends and so i am just so thankful to have you with me so i will see you soon i will actually see you tomorrow with a walmart try on haul with some different things it's not all dresses i think i've got one dress, one skirt, and then some comfy clothes. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.